Colossians 3, Paul says, For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Well, that's a really confusing statement. First of all, Paul says that you have died. When did that happen? Because I'm alive. And then Paul says that your life is hidden with Christ in God. But if I'm dead, how am I living in Christ? We're a little confused. To avoid some of this confusion, we have to clear one thing up first. And hopefully it'll make a little bit of sense as we go along. But one thing that we have to keep in mind and always understand as Christians is that Christ is not dead. That he did die on the cross, but that he rose from the grave. Now, what would happen if Christ hadn't risen from the grave? What would that mean for us? Well, if Christ hadn't risen from the grave, that would mean that he would be powerless to do anything for us at all. He would be nothing more than a rotting corpse, and there would be no hope for us in anything. Because if Christ did not escape from death and conquer it, then neither can we. That means that when death comes for us, it will truly be the end. There is no way that we're going to defeat it if Christ himself couldn't defeat it. But Paul says that you already died. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can't get to that part yet. We're getting there, okay? We're still talking about that Jesus is a life part. Okay, so the resurrection of Christ, here's what this means for us. It means that sin and death could not keep Jesus in the tomb, that his resurrection from the dead proclaims absolution for us all. What that means is the forgiveness of sins, that we have the assurance of the forgiveness of sins because of Christ's resurrection. It's important for us to know as Christians that Jesus Christ not only lived and died to save us, but also that he was raised again, because this is proof that God accepted his sacrifice in our place, proof that God has forgiven us, proof that sin and death has truly been conquered by Christ, Prove that God will also raise our bodies from the grave to live with him for all eternity. This is the glorious hope and the promise that God has given to all of us. And now, finally, we get to the part where Paul says, you died. All right, when did that happen? When did we die? Well, this was all made very personal for you. This work of Christ for your salvation through the waters of holy baptism. So when Paul says, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ, that all happens in baptism, because your baptism connects you to Christ in his death, and it connects you to Christ in his resurrection. Because Christ has risen from the grave, the threat and the power of death has been taken away, and your sins are truly forgiven. You've been cleansed by the redeeming blood of Christ that was shed upon the cross for your, for your sin. It was sufficient payment for your sins, accepted by God the Father, because he is the perfect and blameless Lamb of God. And now that the one who is crucified is no longer in the tomb and is risen from the grave, that means that the last great enemy, death, has been defeated for you. Christ has won the victory, and that victory is shared with you. And so, that's what Paul means when he says, you are hidden in Christ, because the threatening, lurking, triumphing nature of death does not hold the same power over you anymore because you are connected to Christ. 